Hi, right, what's up YouTube? This is X Zumberts. Um and today I'm bringing you guys how to make a website um series number 4. And uh the reason I keep making these is cuz they're getting views. So, I mean, why not make them if they're getting views? Anyways, so this series was originally supposed to be how to make a website in Notepad. Uh but I got Dreamweaver again, so yeah. If if you guys can get Dreamweaver somehow, then get it. Uh, it's a lot easier than Notepad because it like color coats everything and it fills stuff in for you. So yeah, but um, if you don't have Dreamweaver, then just um, copy this down to Notepad. Doesn't really matter. Oops, my bad. I haven't done this in a while. Mm, a body and body and an HTML. All right, so ah, uh, the first thing I'm gonna teach you guys today. This is kind of gonna gonna be like a review type of thing. I don't know, but um, so here is a pretty simple way to make text like bigger or smaller you just put big and um, hello YouTube and then big and then I'm gonna save it desktop as tut4.html alright so open that and it's it's pretty big font compared to let's say let's say that yeah so this is just normal and this is big and then if you want to make it small then i wonder what you would type in And yeah, so this is normal. This is big and small. Uh, that's just a random little trick that I wanted to share with you guys that I learned. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, so some font effects. So let's say I wanted to. Let's see. Try this again. Hello. YouTube. Alright, so let me just put um, br slash br. some spaces in between there. Okay, so let's say um, I wanted to change like the font color and what type of font it was, but just this line right here. I'll make another line. How are you? Okay, so I would go right here and make a tag in front of it, font, and then um, there's a bunch of different, um, I don't know what you call it, there's a bunch of different things you can do. So let's do color first. Font color, just make it red, and then space, and then you can do another one, so font face, which type of font it is. Um, let's do, I don't know, I don't know what that is, just type in Lucida Sans Unicode, I don't know, and then let's do size, and just make it like 7, there's no 7, 6, and then end that, and then go after after this and end font. Save that. Um, to make this a little bit easier on you guys, just type in Arial. Oh, what happened there? Sorry. All right. Um, what is going on right now? Size. That's what it is. All right. Sorry. Um, 
So yeah, let's see what that does. Yep, that makes the font um, size six and uh, red and in Arial font. So you can just experiment with, experiment with that. It's useful if you just want to make like one line of your text um, a certain font or a certain size or something. Let's make this like three. Yeah. So that's that. And then um, what else? Sorry, I'm kind of not really organized right now. Um. Oh yeah. You guys have to remember to nest. So let's say I put something like um, you underline and then I italic and then be bold. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to end the font first. Dreamweaver does it for you, but end the font first because that's what we did last. And then after that, you're going to want to end and the bold and then and the i oops and the i and then and the u and that's called nesting what the freak and the no and the u that's called nesting and basically if let's say you ended this this i right here before you ended the b then it would confuse the confuse the program and it would get all messed up. But um yeah, so now it's uh bold, italic, and underline. And it has all these different effects on it. So yeah, um and then I also made this little thing that I don't know just kinda helps you guys out with nesting. So this is how it should be. Tag three, tag two, tag one. You end tag one first, and tag two second, and then end tag three, or tag two, tag one, tag three, and tag three because that's the one you put last, uh, and tag one because that's second, or end tag two, um, and then it's not supposed to be like this. You don't, yeah, you you guys get the point. Um, just go ahead and pause the video and take a look at that. Um, and then let's see what else I have for you guys today. I'm really not organized. Um, you guys, I already told you guys this, but section headers H1, big H2, smaller, and then blah blah all the way down to H6, and you get the point. Yeah, it just, um, the, the bigger the number, the smaller it gets. I know it doesn't really make sense, but, you know, what does make sense? Um, you can align these, you can align these left, center, or right. So, H1 align, uh, let's do right, save, and this is going to move over to the right, obviously, yeah. Pretty easy, right? And then, oh shoot, um, let me pause the video really fast. Uh, I'll be I'll be right back. I have to show you guys something. I have to find it really fast. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so I just made this little uh, roller coaster type thingy for you, and I'm gonna save it and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty cool, right? Um. What I did here was I did font size equals 3 and then R and then ended the font. Font size equals 4, O, end the font. Font size equals 4 again, L, ended the font. And then blah, 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 all the way back down to 1. And it came out as that. So, yeah, just thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of stupid, but whatever. Um, how long do we have on this? 9.45. Alright, we're good on time. So, let me see what's next. Um, there's another cool thing. Uh, let me, 
let me pause the video really fast and make it um sorry i'll be right back all right so i just thought i'd show you um how i'm kind of doing this so i'm trying to make this rainbow thing right here and um uh, let's see i just have to put the w in font color equals uh number d now let's gotta do like well like a dark purple or something like eight eight oh 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 eight 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 oh oh eight eight oh yeah there we go that's good size nope fail size equals five and then w and then in the font so yeah basically what i did here was i bolded the whole thing and then basically assigned a font color and a size for each of the letters and yeah um so for this one i made it red size five that's the r end of the font for this one i made it uh orange and then yellow and green, blue, purple, uh, or magenta, and then dark purple. Um, so yeah, uh, this is what it looks like in Dreamweaver. It's the same thing. Mm. My bad. Alright, so just refresh that, and yeah. So, yeah, um, that's, that's about all for today. Sorry, kind of unprepared. But, you know, whatever. So, I'm not really sure what to call this. Just kind of random stuff that you guys might want to know. Um, I'm thinking about starting, like, simple JavaScript tutorials pretty soon. So, yeah. Um, if I get over 100 views on this, or once I get that, I'll upload the, the next tutorial. Um, so, thank you guys for watching, and yeah, see you later. Deuces.